Welcome back to the broadcast. Parkinson's is a brain disease typically associated with tremors, rigidity, and loss of movement. But some people in the U.S. have decided to fight it, literally. CCTV's Nisa Soledad Perez explains. Lisa McFarland isn't fighting for a boxing championship. She's fighting for her life. She, like 1.5 million other people in the United States, is struggling with a neurological disorder known as Parkinson's. The disease, which is characterized by slowness of movement and tremors, and that can leave you paralyzed, is considered incurable. Existing drugs treat the symptoms only. You're having to think about, okay, keep this hand up, do something with this hand, make sure your feet are in the right place. Oh, you put your hand down, put it back up. There's so much thought that goes in with that. And so between the movement and the thought, I think it's a very good exercise for Parkinson's patients. And I feel it after, I always feel revived or I feel better after I leave here. Craig Marks, a physical therapist by training, decided to treat Parkinson's patients using boxing techniques without anyone getting hit on the head. Mark's inspiration, his late father. Those rules and regulations uh, are very outdated. Uh, what was going on with him was more of a maintenance type therapy and not progressing. Uh, so my goal was to introduce something to him where he was actually gonna progress. Uh, instead of sitting in a chair stacking cones when that wasn't his issue, um, his issue was strength in his legs, his balance. Mark's patients warm up by running up and down the stairs. They concentrate on training their core and abdominal muscles. These muscles are the stabilizers of the human body. William De Freitas, diagnosed at the age of 42, is boxing and doing martial arts training for the first time in his life. I saw uh, any more energy, um, balancing. Stability. Neurologists around the nation are not ready to prescribe boxing techniques for Parkinson's patients, but they are not against it either. I don't endorse any specific exercise uh, type. I endorse exercise on a regular basis, the one that the, pa the patient or the subject finds the most appealing. And I believe that what works best for that uh, person, regardless of the type of exercise, is to do it systematically and with an aim for fitness. Besides helping with the flexibility and balance, patients report that boxing helps them relieve some frustration and anger associated with their condition and with the stress of daily life. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Miami. The U